Okay, so here's another super fun watercolor technique I want to share today. And again, this is on the fly, so I, hopefully it'll work. But I like to do, I like to use my stamps to create pattern papers um, so that I can use them for the backgrounds in my projects. So I'm going to go ahead and make a little watercolor background using some Distress Oxide inks. And then what we're going to do is while it's still wet, I'm going to over stamp some of the blooms using some dye based inks. And I'm going to be using Gina K Designs dye based inks and some of the new inks in her palette. And see what kind of texture and dimension and kind of really cool backgrounds we can create with this. Okay, so I'm going to take the Tattered Rose and the Picked Raspberry to start, and I'm going to mash them down onto my craft mat, kind of close together. Let me get a little more Tattered Rose there. Okay, and just kind of mash that up. And here's my piece of watercolor paper. This is B paper. I share this a lot. I love this paper. I'm just going to wet it down. You can see it's taking a lot of water, but it's not warping. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of mix, mishmash this in here and get kind of messy with it and see what I get. Now, the colors are going to be super duper, um, super duper light. So I think I'm going to add in a little bit of the Wilted Violet. Okay. A little bit of the Wilted Violet. And I'm not going to clean this in between. I'm just going to, I want it to stay wet. So I don't even mind like this stuff on the back here, but I'll go ahead and tidy it up. I don't even mind it getting in there. I'm going to wet the whole surface, okay? And I am going to start off with some of the Distress Oxide um, Picked Raspberry. I'm just going to st start stamping in to these surfaces and get this bleeding effect. But I'm also creating some patterned paper along the way. So instead of misting the, um, the stamp, I am really using the water that's in the, the background here to create those watercolor effects. I'm going to use, a, I'm going to over stamp, I'm going to use some passionate pink here. And I haven't cleaned my stamp, which is okay with me. So even though this is a dye based ink, because the paper's nice and wet, we're, and the dye-based inks are water-based, getting this really nice bleeding effect. Oh, I love it! I just chanted there. Sorry about that. It's kind of exciting. I got really excited there. Okay, so I've got those colors going, and I'm really digging the bleeding. And I'm kind of working fast because... Um, because... I want to maximize the amount of water that's going on here to create, to get this bleeding going. How cool is that? And hello, brand new color from Gina K Designs, Tangerine Twist. Love it! Okay, now I have gonna, I'm gonna try this color too, Coral Reef. And this is so on the fly. All right, it's starting to dry a little bit. So I'm gonna, just gonna hit it with a little bit of water and I'm going to break up the coral reef and I've got my wee wee whittle stamp from my hello beautiful stamp set and, oh okay look at that look at the bleeding oh my gosh that's so pretty I can't even right I can't even all right, let's pop this in the wilted violet. Yes, I didn't clean my stamp in between. I contaminated it a little bit, but it'll be okay. All will be well. How beautiful is that? Okay, so that is a super quick watercolor tip technique on the fly for this Thursday. How beautiful is that color? 
I am calling this, I don't know if there's an official term for this, but I am calling this watercolor bleeding, or it could be called like an over stamping um, technique. Now that's going to make a beautiful, beautiful, oh, sorry, I lost my words because it's so pretty. That's going to make a beautiful piece of pattern paper or a beautiful embellishment for the back of a card. Can you imagine taking the jar and stamping it over that? <gasps> Holy smokes! That's so pretty. Okay. All right. That's it for today's watercolor tip. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.